Jonah, congratulations on the show, bud. Uh, big year for the Nolan family. Congratulations <laughs> to you both. I tell you what, I was a big fan of Westworld. So how was it nice to see uh, Jeffrey Wright getting celebrated the way he has been this so year? I'm so happy for Jeffrey. Jeffrey is not only a terrifically talented actor, but just a lovely human being. So I was delighted, delighted to see him being celebrated. Same here. Now tackling Fallout, it was a similar sort of challenge to Westworld when you've got a certain amount of source material and it's your job to like extrapolate and, and expand yeah. that to a whole new world. Was that... Uh, as exciting as getting involved in that? Very much so. I mean, I, I came at this as I came at Westworld as a fan of that original film, Michael Crichton's original film, and, and, and with this as a huge fan of Todd Howard's uh, or, original games, Fallout 3 and, and, and 4. So I'm, I'm just a lucky guy. I've, I've gotten a chance to work pretty much exclusively on things that I'm passionate, passionate about, and I'm very passionate about Fallout. And expanding a story like this, does that, that kind of freedom, does that take the nerves off a little bit uh, about the reaction, how gaming fans are going, to, are going to be looking at this because you know it's its own thing, it's going to be something different, it might have a different message, or are you secretly wanting to keep that little group as happy as humanly possible? No, look, I mean, we approach it first and foremost as a fan, and obviously we'll be delighted if the fans love it, but within the Fallout, you're talking about a game, a series of games that's so popular that within the fan base, there are factions themselves. When I say Fallout 3 is my favorite game, I've already put myself on a hit list. Um, so there's, there's no, and, and, and furthermore, beyond all the different games, every game, the way that Todd Howard and Bethesda make these games, they're so open that your version of playing one of the games would be very different than my version. So as, as something to adapt, for us it was almost perfect. You, you can't do the exact same version because everyone's version of the game is different. But we could take the tone, the unique tone, and the scale of the world of Fallout and, and bring to it our, our own story, which we're very excited about. And for those of us that might not have picked up a control pad, uh, what can we expect from this one? What can we look forward to? Well, the same experience I had when I, when I, when I played the first game, which is this unique, gonzo, crazy world with dark, emotional storytelling, but also humor. And, uh, and you're both off doing your own thing very successfully at the moment, but you and Chris, like, have you got any thoughts of future projects together, future films oh, we might see? Oh, that would be see? nice. That would be nice. Another I, memento, I, maybe. Yeah, there you go. No, I, 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 uh, I love working with Chris, and, and we still show each other everything that we work on. I miss being on set. I miss direct, or I wanted to direct, and, and there's, there's unfortunately not room for two directors on any given set. So maybe someday we'll get a chance to work together again. Well, I'm looking forward to that one, mate. Congratulations on the show. Looking forward to it. Thank you. Cheers, buddy. Appreciate it. Likewise.